I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Tommy. And I'm Darren. Today is March 22nd. It's a Friday. Today, we'll be talking to 18 year olds, Covenant scholars, athletes, music students, a few more. That's just about everyone, right? I think so, yeah. Okay, listen up, everyone. Here's your last reminder, seniors. If you applied to be a Wisconsin Covenant scholar in the distant past, like ninth grade, there's mandatory paperwork to fill out by April 1st to qualify for your college stipend. Your FAFSA form must also be submitted by April 1st to qualify for Covenant money. Have questions? See Mr. Erickson. Are you interested in taking on Americanism and Government Challenge? Sponsored by the American Legion? See Mr. Rickon for details. 18 year olds! Exercise your right to vote on Tuesday, April 2nd. Listen for details next week on the elections. And one last note from our Social Studies Department. Thanks to all those students who have been completing interviews for Women's History Month. The end of March is fast approaching, so if you're still involved with that work, hard to get an interview done. Hey, speaking of history, did you know that Harry Houdini's birthday is coming up? No, I did not. But that'd be a great time to see Mr. Robel do a trick. As you know, Saturday is Houdini's birthday. Um, Houdini was born in 1874. And uh, he spent some time living in Wisconsin, actually, in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. But first, I want to share a little message at, about um, my philosophy of magic. This comes from Doug Henning. And he said, wonder is a very subtle, precious, precious emotion, often lost in the gross hustle and bustle of modern life. When we feel wonder, we are immediately reminded of the purity and innocence of our childhood. Then everything was magical and mysterious. So I'd like to take you back to that time of your childhood when everything was magical and mysterious and present um, a trick for you that, that is uh, magical, hopefully. I want you to use your imagination and pretend that these three colored plastic balls are satellites and that they fly through outer space. This little stand you see here, this represents the launching pad, and that's what they launch them off of at Cape Kennedy. This clear plastic tube represents outer space, and you can see the satellite can fly right through outer space. But you wouldn't always be able to see the satellites fly through outer space because of the clouds, and this tube that you can't see through represents the clouds. Even though you can't see through the clouds, a satellite can fly right through the clouds. So bright and early at Cape Kennedy, Kennedy on a Monday morning, the scientists decided they were going to fire up a green satellite. One week later, a yellow satellite. And third week later, a red satellite. But there must have been a little magic in the sky, because the red one beat the green and the yellow one down. Now this puzzled those scientists. They thought something must be wrong with the launching pad. So they fixed the launching pad and they decided they were going to try again. They fired the green one, one week later the yellow one, third week later the red one. But they must have made the same mistake because the red one beat the green and the yellow one down. Now this really was irritating them by this time. They thought they had a fix. They waited to their, for a real clear sunny day. There were no clouds in the sky and they fired the green satellite. So the green satellite had to be the first one to come down. One week later, it was cloudy, they fired the yellow one. Now the red one, the pesky red one that was giving them so much trouble, they built a special nose cone for it. They put the nose cone on, the countdown began. Five, four, three, two, one, blast out! The red satellite vanished, but as you may have guessed, came in between the green and the yellow satellite. 
That Mr. Elf always has a trick up his sleeve. Ah, let's move on. It's time for athletes to pay close attention. Tennis players, please meet out of the courts dressed warmly today at 3.30 with a plastic shovel and a slutter tarp. Remember, also to turn in all that paperwork because practice starts Monday. Stop by room 106 to find a practice schedule. Golf and tennis players, get your paperwork and money turned into the office today for you to be able to practice with your teams on Monday. Mr. Ruffin will not be in school today to collect it or answer questions. Check Monday morning if you have any questions. Tiger's shooting team, your paperwork and money can be dropped off with Mrs. Casper in the office. You will meet this Sunday. Coach Perry is picking up paperwork on Friday to bring it into the meeting. If you've not brought in your paperwork, please bring it to the meeting on Sunday. It's time for a break. Break! Man, I'm hungry. First we had shakes here at school, you know. Actually, they do. What? Where? Well, I guess FBLA's selling them during focus on Thursday and Friday. Well, how much are they? Well, they're $1.50 for just the shake, and they're $2 for toppings, like Oreo and whipped cream. That's not bad at all. I'll probably go get one of those during focus. Mmm, shamrock shakes. Good luck to the Tiger track team that will be participating in the Golden Eagle Invitational on Saturday at 4 at UW Lacrosse. Best of luck to our music students that are participating in the festival in Sparta on Saturday. Tip, your home base is reportedly Mr. Teton's classroom. He loves Doctor Who, Shakespeare, Tiger's member of the Paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. Okay, I'm still thinking about those shamrock shakes. Where are they selling them? I'm out.